I really appreciate you. Thank you for borrowing God, your wife. I bless your name. Thank you for bringing me here. And Lord, I pray that your purpose for bringing me, Lord, you will accomplish it in the name of Jesus. Amen. I'm praying for you, darling. You must ensure you, no matter how long it takes. Yeah, you re do you remember how the Lord led us to so sacrificially into two ministries here in the youth late last year? That was the longest journey I've ever made inside Spain. And to crown it all, the entire congregation were, they were less than 20. This is our season of harvest. There yeah. are. I was really blessed through this uh, message this morning. Ah, in fact, even now I am blessed, eh? Oh. <laughs> I can't really thank God for all these ministers, so oh. that the Lord is tearing their hearts to come up online and do program at such a time like this. Yes, dear. In fact, you see, from one channel to another, God has really, 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 really had that to my life, in fact. You, you, you see the way the, that man of God ministered, it really opened my eyes. Hmm. And I'm beginning to discover many things about our family now, dear. Hey. You know, this time has really afforded me the opportunity to know you the more. And you know, and I pray the Lord will help us to maximize this time for our own benefit in the name of Jesus. Amen, amen, yeah. amen, amen. You know, I've never been able to read, you know, I've not been able to be reading the, you know, uh, the Christian books I have at home, but now I've been able to read a lot and then many other things. In fact, you know, because the children are not, they are not even going to school now. So, in fact, my devotion and my time of prayer, I'm really, really enjoying it. Now I can wake up at any time in the night and pray. Yeah. You know, before I would just be struggling yes, about, you know, know uh, dozing off in the place of prayer and even everything my like that. Even improved, though. In, you ask me. Uh, they yeah. really improved. What are you even talking about? I said, now I can stay awake because I know I'm not old enough, you know, to walk or to anything. And that's why the scripture says that we know that all things work together for good. So, look at all the things that God is bringing out for us this season. Eh? Even the children. Do you know that when I went to the children's room yesterday, yes. they didn't even know I was standing by the door. They were doing devotion. They were sharing the scriptures My together. My God. They were not even in a hurry to get out of bed early in the morning. Okay. I have been so worried. I was thinking that, oh, you know, that, you know, since we have been at home for some time, the children will be asking, when are we going to school? When are we going to school? Mm -hmm. But look at what is happening now. In fact, they are, they are, mind, they are maximizing the time. And I really thank God. Thank God. I really, yeah. really, really, really bless God for this so opportunity. I'm still blessing this uh, mm -hmm. lockdown. In fact, I, blessing. in fact, I thank God. And then another thing is that, we could come together and pray for the nations of the world yes, as a yes, family. Yes. You know, all of us, we have been used to doing our own thing, our own way. Yes, yes. Our, but now, look at the burden that we now have for nations of the world, that the Lord will end this pandemic. And look and, at the map I placed on the world. Yes. yes. We have to be praying for and now nations. we are praying for the nations of the world. Yes. My dear, I believe that as many people that, you know, will understand it this season, mm. after this season is over, which I know is going to be over, shortly now i believe yeah. god Amen. that by the grace of god our perspective to life our perspective to prayer mm -hmm. even to things that is happening in the world will change definitely you know when it started and we were hearing that it's only one country but now you see nobody was really bothered as such and that's another thing the lord called my attention to that we should not just only care for ourselves mm -hmm. we should care for what is happening in the world yes. Look at what is happening now. All of us, they say lockdown. We are all home. Yes, so, uh, Nobody can even go around, you know, do things to get, you know, the way you want to do things or uh, like that. Know, for me, you know, another thing that is, uh, to have even time for you now. Uh, <laughs> that one is a, is a, is a, is a, is a, is a great one. You know, it, it's like you just got married. Though. Ah, 
There I'm are, beginning to see the beauty of our marriage. Thank beginning. God. Oh. See, <laughs> there are blessings in the storm. Oh. The other is what I've come to see. That there are blessings in the storm. If only God will open our eyes, you know, to see it. Eh? Look at the lunch I made yesterday now. I was able to, you know, to give in everything. You know, the and then, with the chakki, with ah, the meat, with the associated meat now, you know. <laughs> I thank God. I, I'm even waiting for the one you want to prepare this afternoon. Now. I thank God that, you know, it's not like before that we just dish no, everything and, and put then, it in the freezer I, and be running away, you know, going to work, you know, to go and pick the children, come back home and everything like that. Though we are like not happy you. with what is happening in the world, yeah, not that right. we are rejoicing in the no, things that is happening. But we know that in everything, mm. all things work together for our own good. Yes, yes. If only we can see the good in that storm. If only we can see the good. But for me, I, I, for this family, I know what God has already done. In fact. And we will still do. Amen. And Amen. I believe it will be so in other families. Amen. And you know one thing now. Yes. <laughs> you know, before I will tell you, I want to go for conference. You know that woman of God that is always holding program for women yes. and like that. You tell me, eh, where am I going to keep the children? Why are you going to do this one and everything? Yes. Do you know that even this season, you see, she's maximizing that moment and she's organizing e conferences. So this weekend now there's going to be conference. Yes, and I'm going to connect. And the way she's even making that, we're going to watch life and be blessed. Thank you. And I'm not that I mean, I don't I need to like buy tickets. In you know? fact, I don't need to buy tickets. I don't need to worry about where I'm going to keep the children. So I know that I'm coming out of this season a better woman. If so my perspective know, has changed. The goodness now. The good thing I've already by what God has already done for me, I know it should be permanent. And you know something? I'm not just only thinking about us, no. but as a woman, there is a body that has now come to my heart to pray for nations, to pray for family. You know, yesterday evening, eh, Sister Mabel called me. Hey. Ah, she told me that day she's already she's she's bored at home. How am I enjoying the season and everything like that? I, I told her we are enjoying the season, you know. See, she's just like, oh, she can't just wait and everything like that. She has, she's having issues with her husband. Thank you, thank you, thank you. You are saying thank God. I say she's having issues with her husband. Ah, no, I was saying, no, in another way, I'm just saying, I hope you go and see him. You go and see her. Why they say we should stay in our house? I cannot I go and see anybody. Be, 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 be. No, we have to obey. You see, you see, if the, the scripture even says, go in, shut the door. So stay at home, is stay at home. We are staying at home. But I promise her that this evening now, I will do video chats with her. We will pray together. Uh, so stay at home. Call, before you stay call, at home. You know, before you call, you have to pray that God will really trust them. Ah, well, dear. Let me go and prepare lunch now. Yes, because you know that now. one uh, in about one hour's time, yes. we have to pray prayer for the nations. Yes, yes. And I you know, the country uh -huh. we are praying for today, I think it's Russia. Think. Yes, we are praying for Russia today. Yes, uh -huh. So let me go and fix uh, your uh, lunch. I'm coming. Thank you. Ah. Ah, thank you. Hello. Gabion, how are you? How's everything? Uh, everything is not fine. Why? We are already bored. Why? What is the problem now? You can do many other things now. Mm -hmm. eh? It's like we are in the lion's den. No, no, what do you mean by that? You cannot stay with your wife at home. Is she not your wife? What? Get down. Why did you behave like that? Hold, hold, hold on, hold on. Never raise your hand against your wife for any reason. Why? I say you are not in lion den. She's your wife now. No, no, don't throw away the Bible. You will still stick with that word of God. Get on. She's your wife. And the Bible says we must dwell with our wife with love. In love. No, no, no. Let me tell you something. Now, let me ask you one question. When did you sit down with your wife and discuss about your 
Parce que à partir de la Since the day you got married, no wonder. Look at this time we are in right now. People are crying, lockdown, lockdown. My wife and her, just yesterday now, we just sat down and we discussed about our differences and how we can improve on our relationship. You can do likewise. Make use of this time, sit your wife down. If you need be, you can kneel down and plead, and, and plead for forgiveness and, make, and anything you can do to make your wife happy, to make your family a better family. No, no, Gideon, you have to, you have to turn a new leaf. I, I'm not happy with what I'm hearing from you this afternoon. Yes. Now, don't think of going anywhere. You cannot even go out. Stay with your wife. In any way you have offended her, ask for forgiveness. If it, if there is, if it be, you can kneel down and beg her. And then also, sit her down. She's your wife, for goodness sake. And then, make sure you have, do you, let me ask you another question. Do you still have, uh, uh, do you still observe uh, my own devotion in your family? See, Gideon, sit your family down, Teach them the word of God. Pray with them. I pray God will help you. My wife and I will be praying now. We will, I will still call you back in the evening. Please, right now, go and beg your wife. Ask for her forgiveness. Go and beg your wife. Give your Ask for forgiveness. Okay. I pray the Lord will help you in the name of Jesus. Okay, okay. My wife is even trying to... I'm, I want to go and eat now because this time I'm eating healthy, wonderful. I think she has prepared uh, pounded jam again for me this afternoon. Okay, I will call you back. Okay, bye. There? Is the food ready? Yes, the food uh, is ready. Hello, Sister Mabel. Ah, how are you? How is the situation of things now? You are fed up with the children. Ah. Why? Hey, I know that it's a lockdown. But the lockdown does not mean you can't create activities for the children at home. My sister. This is the time to engage them, you know, in uh, scriptural activities. Oh. Yes. Is the time to engage them in scriptural activities. If they are engaged, you know what you will do? Just plan the time for them. Yes, I know they will sleep more now. Even my children, they are like that too. Because they are home. And, you know, plan scriptural activities for them. Give them Bible quiz. Give them, you know, sit down with them, draw the sword. And you, you know, you make little, little, little reward. And yeah, you know, like, uh, oh, if you are the person that comes first today and everything like that. When you engage the children like that, the children are happy. Then when they are engaged, you know, of course, you allow them to watch godly videos too. In fact, my sister, this is the time that you can even check what they are watching on YouTube. Yes, now, you can even put parental guidance on all their, you know, apps, you know. Don't forget that. An I do hand is the devil's workshop, oh, my sister. An I do hand is the devil's workshop. So, check them up. Ah, yes, in our country, they are sending assignments. Uh, the schools, uh, the teachers are sending some assignments for the children. Even when they didn't send, you know, I will create some for myself. The only thing that, you know, I did not do before this lockdown began was just to, to you know, to buy some books and everything like that. But thank God for the internet. Look for their age, age whatever, and put things for them to do. And you yourself. This is the time for you to sit down with your husband eh? and be submissive to him. I know the tension you are having is because you people have not been, you have not been, you know, uh, really fellowshipping together in the house. You have not been talking together. You have not been, you have not been locked down like this before. before. But what I believe is that this lockdown is a blessing in disguise. God is going to use it to straighten families. You heard that some families are breaking up. And that is not your home portion. My sister, have faith in God. This is the time that my home family will become, you know, will, be, will, will, will become more united. 
And even if your husband is not starting the prayer, you start the prayer. And don't forget to pray to pray for your country. Do you know that? Even if we say God protect us, we are shielded from the plague. If the plague did not stop in our country, they won't allow us to go out. You know that? I say start, initiate it, initiate it. Start the prayer. Start the prayer. You start it. You can just gather the children together. You begin the prayer. Little by little, pray for yourself, pray for the country. My sister, do you know one of the things I've realized this season? Is that, you know, is my ministry of intercession. Uh, is my ministry of intercession to pray, not only for ourselves, you understand me, and also for the nations of the world. Now we know that whatever affects A, affects B, everything is on standstill. More importantly, you know, especially for those of us in the Western world, this is the time for us to straighten our relationship with our husband. Ain't no problem now. I say if your husband is not doing anything, you start it. Have you forgotten the story of Abigail and Abel? The uh, uh, and, and her husband. The Bible talked that the man is a foolish man, but the woman is a wise woman. You be a wise woman this season. You know the children at home. It's not everything your husband said that you're going to be replying him back. Be humble for once. And ask God, my sister, you know we have talked about this thing before. Eh? Be humble. Be humble. Be humble. Be humble. Hmm? I know you respect your, your, your pastors, you respect everybody, but if you cannot respect your husband, and you are now, uh, you are respecting pastor, it's zero. It is zero. Be humble. And I know, I, you, know, you know we have discussed it before. Straighten it out with him. Sit down together. God is going to help us this season and beyond. In the name of Jesus. Uh, 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 you have not had the good news. God is already intervening in nations. Uh, some countries now, you know, it is now, you know, uh, balanced. There is no infection again. It's just that, you know, God should heal the other people. Hallelujah. And we must not also forget, my sister, it's time for us, for God to check our life so that he will prepare us for his coming. You see, this one we are seeing now is dress Riaza. May we not miss the rapture in the mighty name of Jesus. And there are blessings in the storm. Mm. There are many blessings in the storm. Me, I'm seeing the blessings. Hallelujah. Ah. You see, I'm shouting hallelujah. I've become a pastor this season now. Ah, my dear sister. And not only for this season, my life will not remain the same again. Mm. God bless you, real good then. All right. Ah, see, it's time for me to go and check up the children again. Ah. Yes, yeah, so I sit down and play with them. Well, not only Bible studio. We play Ludo. We play different kind of things together now. Eh? In fact, my children, they are not telling me all those secrets they don't used to tell me before. Ah, I found out their secrets. Ah, especially that my daughter that is already a teenager. Oh, my sister, let me be on my way now. It is well with you. Let's pray together. Father, I commit sister Mabel into your hand. The Lord Almighty, the wisdom that you need at this time, the Lord you will give unto her. So the Lord, as we are enjoying the blessings in the storm, my sister too will enjoy the blessings in this storm in the name of Jesus. God, you are the God that still storm. Lord, we ask the Lord, you will still this storm, storm, storm of coronavirus in the name of Jesus. Thank you, wonderful Father. In Jesus' name we pray. God bless you. Bye. Praise the Lord. I believe you have been blessed through this short drama. You have gained one thing or the other. I pray the Lord will help every one of us in the name of Jesus. Okay. The Bible says in Romans chapter 8, verse 28, and we know that all things work together for good to them that love God. To them who are called, who are the called according to his purpose. So, in this season, we, we are, we, we, uh, in this season now, the Lord wants us to maximize our time. Husband, have time. You are husband and wife, sit down. Discuss together. What are your likes? You are, I know you might have been married for one year, two years, ten years, twenty years, thirty years. Have time together this time around. Sit down. Dear, these are my likes. These are the, the, I don't like this. I don't like that. Discuss together. Iron out issues together. And for your children, have time to pray with them, to teach them the word of God, to encourage them, and then to play with them. And this is another time to pray together, to study the word of God together. And we know all things work together. God has a reason for allowing this time. 
and then make use of it. Sit down together. Do everything. Eat very well. Now you are not thinking of, oh, I don't have... You sit down at home. Eat healthy food. Watch Christian movies together. Enjoy yourself together. Spiritually, physically, everything, eh? no area. And the Lord will help every one of us in the name of Jesus. This is another season you can add more skills to your life. Online, go online. Maybe you need to know how to cook, you know how to cook this thing or that. Go online, YouTube. Or you want to acquire online courses, anything you can do to add to your skills. To have in your area of career and your ministry, as a minister of God, you want to learn more. Go to Christian, let the spirit of God lead you because there are many first uh, preachers online, many things you can learn. Conferences, just maximize this time. And I pray the Lord will help every one of us in the name of Jesus. And at the end of this lockdown, maybe one week, two weeks, three weeks, you will come out powerfully stronger than before in the name of Jesus and the Lord will make us wise in the name of Jesus shall we pray together Heavenly Father we thank you once again for this short drama I pray Lord that you help us to maximize this season in the name of Jesus and I pray Lord for every family bind us together in love in the name of Jesus and pray Lord that you provide for us guide us and open our heart to see what you want us to see in the name of Jesus thank you Lord for the answered prayer in Jesus mighty name we have prayed praise the Lord now I want to invite my wife for the final charge be open, let your heart be open, and the Lord is going to minister to you in the name of Jesus. God bless you. Hello, everyone. God bless you. Feel good in Jesus' name. I believe you have been blessed by the various movies you have been watching on this channel. Please, don't forget to subscribe to our channel, Tony and Shofar to see. Just click on the red button, subscribe, and don't forget to click the bell beside it. And that bell is going to give you a notification once we post a new movie or post a new video. And uh, the Lord bless you as you do so in Jesus' name. Don't only subscribe. Please kindly share this channel with other people. If you have been blessed through our movies, tell them about our channel and click the red button to subscribe. God bless you as you do so in Jesus' name. The Overcomers Film Productions International is committed to producing evangelical movies for edification, reproof, for admonishing, enlightening, and preparing the saints for the kingdom of God. All our movies are available on Toy and Aso Fatusan's channel on YouTube to watch free of charge. You can support our evangelistic efforts of producing more movies among other activities of our ministries by making a donation on our website. You can also sign up as a partner to support us from time to time. For more information, send us an email, overcomers96 at gmail.com. God bless you as you support. <laughs>